Pictures of the often invisible faces behind inpatient mental health care displayed on the wall of Block 9C at Wakari Hospital. The Southern DHB is working to remove barriers between patients and the staff who guide them to recovery. Safe Wards uses a set of 10 interventions with an aim to reduce and improve staff response to conflict. The effects of the initiative are readily becoming apparent. Patients, the service users really responded well to the fact that we were being a lot more open about um, what was happening day to day on the ward. Some of these patients have returned many times to Wakari and the program is giving them a chance to express their positive and negative emotions about the time spent in care through creative outlets such as the Hope Tree. In this way, both the patient and staff member get to know each other. Having that information readily available for, for service users when they come on the ward so they, can, they, they know who's working with them, they know the staff a little, a little more. Um, often patients will come onto a, onto a ward and the staff will know lots about them um, but the, the patients will know little about the staff that's working with them and, and it's often just about building that initial rapport, um, having things in common with people and just presenting ourselves as people rather than, rather than a uniform or a badge. By giving mental health a face and a voice the DHB says Safe Wards is a springboard to start a conversation which can facilitate and expedite the healing process. Roselle Lebone, The South Today.